Do you ever have one of those moments, or maybe it's a collection of moments where it feels like the whole world is just caving in around you? I had that today. <clears throat> it was not one particular thing, but a series of things that when they all kind of got mixed together, <clears throat> I found myself in this point of where I felt completely overwhelmed, unequipped and unqualified to deal with it. Oh, I was about to cry or I was about to hit something or someone or throw something or whatever it was. There's all these irrational thoughts running through my mind. I felt helpless. I felt vulnerable. I felt scared. And then I felt angry for feeling all those things. I felt pissed off at myself and my shame spiral when I, when I start to feel a lot of shame. It always goes something like this where I start to beat up on myself. I, I, heap, I heap some heavy things on myself too, being a failure, a fuck up, a, you know, <clears throat> a f whatever that is, right? There's all sorts of things that will be layered in with that. I realized that I was not going to fix my situation by staying in that. So I closed everything down for a minute. I just turned over on my side and closed my eyes, buried my head in a pillow and just sat there and breathed. And just allowed myself to just breathe for a few minutes. To check in with myself and realize that I was okay. <clears throat> that the problems I was creating in here were not the actual reality. That they were things that I could deal with. But I wasn't going to be able to deal with them when I was getting myself into that emotionally unresourceful place. Once I breathed through it, I started to identify what is the easiest thing I can do here. What is a win I can get right away? Because sometimes when we're so deep in that space, we just need one win, one small win to help pull us out and give us some sort of rational thought and perspective on things. I figured out what that was and I gave myself that win. And then I did another thing and another thing and another thing. And eventually I started to pull myself out of it. But there was something still there. There was like this heaviness in my face. And I knew I just felt like I needed to cry. And I'm a huge fan of crying, a huge fan of crying. You know, I think it's a shame that so many of us were taught that crying is a sign of weakness because I think it's it's <clears throat> one of the most beautiful expressions. It's actually a way that we can physiologically allow ourselves to process our emotion. And so when I need to cry, what I do is I look to some of my go-to crying resources. Uh, these aren't sad movies or sad songs or anything like that. The last thing you want to do when you feel like you need to cry is magnify it and layer that in with sadness. What I do is I layer it in with hope. I look to the things that bring hope and where I see the absolute best in humanity, the things that move me so profoundly that I shed tears over it. <clears throat> One of those things for me is the, the most recent Avengers movie that came out last year. And specifically, there's two scenes, the one where, where Captain America summons Thor's hammer. But even more profound than that is when Captain America is, is beat down to within an inch of his life everybody's gone, all hope looks to be lost. And he picks himself up and pulls his shield tight and starts to hobble forward to face Thanos and his entire army on the battlefield. All hope seems to be lost and Captain America still stands there ready to go and knowing that full well he's going to die. He's not thinking of himself though, all he's thinking about is maybe he can save his friends or he's fighting for the cause he believes in. And then suddenly his, his, the, the portals open and his his, his friends start to appear. I can even feel myself getting emotional about it right now. And for me, this scene represents hope. You know, it represents the best in humanity. It represents the very things that I get up for and I, I believe in and I fight for every day is that if I keep showing up and trying to put out into the world what I put out into the world and, and I believe what I believe and help the people that I can help, <clears throat> eventually we all assemble, you know, we all become our own Avengers, our own superheroes. And together we can take on and handle whatever life throws out of, at us, whether it's a mad titan like Thanos or it's this coronavirus that we're dealing with right now. What's the point making this video? The point is this, is you, you all hear me tell you that we're going through this together. And I don't want to mislead you in thinking that I'm just coming with strategies. I'm just coming here to help with tactics and tools. I want you to also know I come to you as a human being and I'm going through my own emotional experience with this too. And when I say that we're all in this together, I've yet to talk to one human being 
<clears throat> that hasn't felt some sort of deepness, hasn't felt a sense of overwhelm, fear, stress, anxiety at some point, at least just for a minute during this. And that's what makes this time period such a unique time in history, is we all truly, the humanity in all of us comes out. We're all going through this together. And so whether you need to give yourself a good cry or just close your eyes and breathe through it, when you feel the world, the walls closing in, when you feel like you might be a little bit overwhelmed, when you feel like you're not quite sure what to do and all the tools and strategies and everything isn't helping, just give yourself that five minutes to close your eyes and breathe. Just breathe through it. Check in with yourself. Acknowledge that you're okay. And then after that, <clears throat> give yourself a win. Find one small thing, one little thing you can do that you can win at right away. And then build on those wins. Do another thing, another thing. Start with the easy ones first. And then, if you still need to, give yourself permission to cry. Give yourself a permission to express that which you're holding on to. It can be a really beautiful experience, but cry because you're moved. Cry because of hope. Cry because of passion. Cry because you're so deeply inspired. You know, we don't want to link our crying to sadness when it's not because we're sad. I think crying because we're hopeful and we believe is, I, for me, it's one of the most beautiful things. And I absolutely, one of the things I love about movies is I love that they can be a vehicle for that. Anyways, that's enough rambling for me for the night. I wanted to make this video because I hope that it helps you and, and I hope that it helps you wherever you are. And maybe just maybe this is what you needed to see right now. All right. Send lots of love to you. And again, we're all in this together and it's together that we're going to get through it. So Avengers Assemble. <laughs>